Welcome back friends. So today we're going to do a storage box upgrade. We've got the Lippard Solid Step installed on both of the doors. I've already installed this one over here. You can see it there. And we still got our steps, our old steps in here. We're going to take those out, put the new storage box in. The unofficial version, this is a hillbilly hack, so fair warning here. Stay tuned. Okay, so let me start this video with why this is a hillbilly hack edition, okay? Uh, I would not be sharing this if this wasn't a legit way to install these boxes. But in LCI, Lippert Components haste and my haste to develop our relationship, they, they've, they've been great guys. I'm just telling you, they're awesome to work with. It's also it's so, so cool for our channel to get to the point that we can work with a company like LCI. And uh, they've been sending us stuff to install and try out and, and get feedback on, okay? Well, one of the, our wish, the thing is RV wish list, one of our things on our RV wish list for ever since we've had this thing, were solid steps. And I told them, hey, we'd love some solid steps. They're like, absolutely, let's do it. So during that, we did the solid steps, we did the handrails, and we did the storage boxes. Well, in our haste, and I say our haste, it's both of our faults, I didn't realize that the Imagines, or our Imagine, has a six inch I-beam, and I'll show you what that is in just a minute, instead of an eight inch I-beam. And these storage boxes, the, the um, brackets are developed for an eight inch I-beam. But a big company like LCI that makes a great storage box like this sends you two of them. Where I come from, you're gonna make it work, right? So I would not be sharing this with you if it was not a legit install. Uh, this one that I've installed here, I'm extremely happy with. I'm gonna show you how I installed it up there on the other one. But again, this is unofficial, just between you and I. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is get these stairs out, right? So it's literally just four bolts, two of these bolts on this side and two bolts on the other side. Let's rock that out. All right, once you get all of these bolts loosened, uh, obviously they just pop out. But be ready, because this thing's gonna be ready to pop on out itself. So, all right, there we go. I think we're... There we go. All right, let me grab the camera and show you what we got. Here we go. All right. Morning sun is brutal right now. So you can see we got this frame here. What I learned from the other install is I'm also gonna have to remove this part of the frame, which is just a couple of screws, not a big deal. But here's my I-beam. And I don't know if you can, see if I'm trying to lighten that up for you a little bit. There we go, here's my I-beam here, six inches, not eight inches, and you'll see that in a minute, but this bracket's also gonna be important for us. Um, sorry, I'm having to play with the lighting here a little bit. Like I said, morning sun. This, uh, there we go. This bracket right here is gonna be important in the install as well. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach the bracket that comes with the storage box to my I-beam. I'm going to then self tap screws into that bracket that I installed here and into this bracket, all right? Um, I've, even, I've even got some extra screws. I may zip in a couple on the sides, but the one back there was so solid, I don't think I'm gonna have to do that. I definitely didn't need to do it back then, back there. So let's get started with all that. Okay, another tip guys, if you're gonna have an RV, it might be worth your while to buy a couple of sets of hex head sockets. All right, um, by sockets, I mean they attach to a socket driver. Um, this is gonna be invaluable here for me in this application. It's just a lot easier than using an Allen wrench. I can literally just 
pop the socket off, pop this on, and come here and use the, my ratchet instead of a screwdriver. So I ought to go in on the other side and uh, with another socket and lock the nut in over there. But I just thought I'd mention these are handy to have. Okay, friends, so we see our prep work is done as far as removing everything we need to remove. There's the old frame right here that was down here at the bottom. And then, like I said, make sure we leave this bracket for sure. Now, let's take a look at this box. This is why I find it worthwhile to do this project. Um, these boxes are legit. There's a pro and con to them. And that is their heavy duty, which also means they're heavy. So if you're really watching your weight, you may want to think about these. I'm going to be adding about 40 pounds times two. There's the other one all buttoned up, but I'm going to be adding another 40 pounds to the rig. So they're just really heavy duty. Nice, nice seal. This is like an industrial type seal here. I'm really impressed with these boxes and they are super heavy duty lock it locks there push button to open all right so let's go ahead and you see the bracket we got down here so our issue sorry I'm moving you around a little bit our issue is lighten you up again oh hello belly hack okay our issue is if you notice the bracket is just too wide right so let me show you how we're gonna we're gonna fix all that okay so here's the bracket here sitting the way it's supposed to and it's supposed to bump all the way up against the top of the i-beam and then you can see those four holes up there you basically drill and screw and attach to the i-beam well obviously my i-beam is a little bit short right but that's what this is gonna be for all right, so what I'm going to end up doing, and I'll show you all this as we go along, is I'm going to attach these top four with the provided hardware to my I-beam. I'm then going to tap an area right here and right here for my, uh, it's a good chance these aren't going to line up. If they line up, I'll go ahead and bolt it there. But if they don't, I'm going to tap this spot and this spot and then an area here and an area here to attach the box and like I said the other one I've done already is solid as a rock so let's get started okay just doing this from experience with the other one the LCI instructions tell you to bump these little notches up here all the way up to the I-beam well I'm not gonna do that because I want it to sit a little bit lower uh, the one over there is is tighter to the top and I just want this one to sit about a half inch lower and it just so happens that while this bracket sits on this that sits at about a half inch lower now what i'm going to need to do is i'm going to need to center this thing perfectly and we are five inches on that side and four and a half on this side so let's bump it this way a quarter of an inch take another look four and three quarters Four, oh, come on, dude. Four and three quarters. Okay, we're even now. Um, let's see, I, but I do want it to be level. So I'm going to bump this side up just a little bit and mark those four holes. Okay, I've got my four holes marked. Let me see if I can focus you in. There we go. And uh, let me highly suggest make sure you get you some good drill bits here, some hard metal dr drill bits. It's going to make your life a lot easier. But a one, two, three, four, let's get going. All right, we're ready to rock with this bracket. Okay, so I used a quarter inch drill bit to do this with. Um, it's a little bit smaller than what I need, but these are self-tapping screws. So I'm gonna let them do some of the work as well. Let's pop this right here this line up. There we go. You're going to have to go to the lower gear, Corey. 
stout stuff here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just telling you, like, <laughs> these are not going to go anywhere, guys. If you can't tell, that's going nowhere. Let's go get the box. This is the fun part. All right, guys, so I've got the box hung here. Got some little help from my friends, uh, some C clamps there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill some pilot holes here, here, and I'm gonna find my back bracket, drill one here and here, and then we're gonna zip in those self-tapping screws, and we are gonna be set. All right, I got my, it wasn't running the camera there, but I got my screws set in back there. Got my pilot holes drilled. And I'm going to get going. All right. This is... Okay. i got to go get a new battery here in just a minute. Because this is some heavy-duty stuff now. Okay. There's that one. Yeah, see? Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah, I need a new battery. Let me go get a new battery. All right, there we go. Got my two self-tapping screws in right there. And then, just to be sure, let's go under here. You want to definitely... Sorry, right, moving you around a little bit here. Definitely make sure that you're through on this bracket on both sides. This box is going nowhere at this point, but I'm still going to attach two more self-tapping screws up here to the bracket. Okay guys, so we're all done here. I drilled the self, uh, drilled the pilot holes here and here, and then uh, zipped those two in, and... Dude, this thing is going nowhere. So I'm completely confident in this. Hey listen, I'm just a dude on YouTube. I'm not suggesting you do this, but I do this for my best friend. I can tell you that. It fits like a champ, looks good, perform, it's going to perform great. I'm going to put all my chocks in here so my chocks don't, aren't messing up, getting gravel and the sand and everything else in my pass-through storage. I'm going to put my Anderson levelers in here. This is awesome. I love having this extra storage where these useless steps were. So. I hope this was useful for you guys. You can see, closes nicely. Perfect open. I'm pumped about this. Love these things. So, uh, Hillbilly Hack for today. This is not sponsored by Lipper Components, but what would you do if some nice company sent you $500 worth of storage boxes? You'd make it work too. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, if, it if this was helpful, consider subscribing.